Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a centipede. Hey everyone, it's me, Nagasos Avenge. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about on how to install Nobro for your PlayStation Vita and I'm going to be talking about what is Nobro exactly. So Nobro is basically a homebrew application that allows you to read Japanese manga and comics offline or either online via with this application itself. What I'm also going to be talking about today as well as the prerequisites for this video and anything that I'll state will be in the link in the description down below of course just like any of my other videos so first things first you need a modded playstation vita that is already hacked in some shape or form so whether if you're using the original um hankaku hack uh, excuse me hack uh h on core h on core 2 trinity as long as your device could run unsigned code you're basically good to go for this um this does work with vitas from 3.60 to 3.73 firmware so if you're on hankaku enzo like me you could still install this or if you're on you know h on core 2 and on 3.73 you still are basically good to go for this process you also need vita shell you'll also need number mango excuse me manga.vpk which is the actual application that allows you to read your manga and stuff on the go you also need a wi-fi connection for this process just for the general setup uh just for this process you could also run this offline as i stated but just to um you know get your manga downloaded to your vita first and then you could utilize this offline so you could you know read this on the go let's say if you don't have you know wi-fi at your you know leisure per se as well the last thing you'll need is a usb cable or file for the ftb client for today and depending on how you want to transfer your files over but with all the prerequisites getting out the way let's go on to the playstation vita and as the pc to get this set up Alrighty everyone, assuming that you guys did follow all the prerequisites as stated in their intro, we're basically good to go to get this set up on the PlayStation Vita side of things first. So first things first, what we need to do is hold down on the PlayStation Home button on your Vita, and we need to make sure that our Wi-Fi is on. The reason why we need to make sure that our Wi-Fi is on as of right now, since once we install the Noburo app, basically we need to go ahead and download our manga and comics via that way. So if you wanted to use your manga offline, or you know, read your manga offline, then you don't need to have uh, you know Wi-Fi access. But for the initial setup, you need to have Wi-Fi on. Assuming that y'all guys have your Wi-Fi on, what we need to do is boot into Vita Shell. If you don't already have Vita Shell, I will have that in the link in the description down below. But once you're into Vita Shell, either if you want to transfer with a USB cable, go ahead, take your USB charging cable for your Vita, um, plug it into your PC if you're going to be using the USB method. But since I'm going to be using stuff uh, over Wi-Fi and since the file is very small, like almost four megabytes, I'm just going to be using FileZilla for today. So all you got to do is hit start. If you're going to be using USB, just make sure you have this toggled over to USB. If you're going to be using FTP like me, make sure your Wi-Fi is on, of course. But once you um, toggle, depending on how you want to transfer your files over today, all you got to do is hit select on your device. And now you should see your IP address. So what we're going to do is go to the PC and then download the actual homebrew itself. And then we're going to transfer this over with files of FTP client or for your guys, you may be using a USB cable. So let's go to the PC. Alrighty, so I'm on my desktop as showcased here. Once um, your PlayStation Vita is connected via with Fazla FTP client, or you just have your FTP server over, or if you have your USB cable, what we need to do is download the Nobro.vbk. You can see that I already downloaded it here, but I'm going to show you guys on where to get this from. Of course, this will be in the link in the description down below. Um, this is coming from Vita database itself, so that's where I actually found the application. But as you can see here, um, just a brief description, this is a manga slash comic reader application for the ps vita with both online and offline mode support so you could read more about it if you wanted to read the actual source code and i'll just showcase that here if you wanted to you know check out the releases from the actual dev so shouts out to cracker yop i probably butchered your name but I'm, I'm sorry for that but you can see here um this is where you could actually download it from or you could just download it uh back from this application here so if i were to download a vbk uh it wouldn't take long it's only 3.7 megabytes but you guys get the gist from here um once you downloaded of course your vbk either you want to go ahead and transfer your data with your usb cable to ux0 and you can just follow the same path as me since i'm going to be using fazla ftb client so if you're using fazla ftb client or any um 
FTP client of your choice, like Win FTP. All you gotta do is type in your PlayStation Vita IP address. I will have a picture somewhere right here once I edit out this video on what your IP address may look like. Yours will be definitely different than mine's. However, um, our ports will be the same. So mine's is one three three seven. Hit quick connect, and then uh, once your IP address is uh you know connect or your Vita is connected, what you should do is take your Narburo.vbk, just transfer it over to UX zero. I already have Narburo.vbk here since I did this earlier before testing out this video but once your file has transferred over and it won't take long whether irregardless if you did FTP or you know USB cable what we want to do is just verify that our application did transfer over into UX0 so um, let me see it so okay so you can see here that number vpk is here it still has the same file size and you can tell by the date of time when i'm doing this so we're basically good to go for this i'm going to close out files a lot client and then what we're going to do is go back to our vita get this vpk installed and then i'm going to show you guys on how to set this actual homebrew application from start to finish Alrighty, so as of right now, you should be back on your PlayStation Vita since you already successfully transferred over the file via either with a USB cable or FileZilla FTP client. So all you gotta do is just cancel out your connection. Then what we wanna do is go into UX0, scroll down until we find the borough, the actual .vpk. So just install it just like any normal homebrew application. Um, it shouldn't take too long since it's, um, of course, not large in size at all. It's only three megabytes, so I'm just waiting for it to do its thing. Once it's fully installed onto our live area on our PlayStation Vita, as well, just make sure once again that your Wi-Fi is on. So that's what I'm gonna do here in a second. So it's finished. Let's go back onto our live area, verify that our Wi-Fi is on once again. Sense is very important. Um, and basically, if you don't have your Wi-Fi on for this price, excuse me, process, um, Nobura wouldn't work since it's trying to read the manga service to pull out, you know, actual manga and the comics for your console to read. So this is it right here. Yours, when it's um, your first time, it will be blank, but I'm going to show you guys on how to get this set up. So where it says catalogs uh, for update, you want to go ahead and press uh, circle, I believe, or no, excuse me, triangle, and you can see all of the manga websites. So we could choose any one you want. I'm just going to use the first one, manga reader right here. And as showcased here, you can see that it has, you know, some pretty, you know, mainstream manga. So, or I should say manga, but you can see that uh, Naruto's here, Bleach, Fairy's Hell, Hunter x Hunter. So basically it got all of, you know, the main ones. I'm not too sure if it got, you know, NSFW type stuff. I'm not really going to get into that because of, you know, YouTube and I don't want to get flagged for that. But you can see that um, you can download your manga. So one cool thing. Right now, we could add to our library. So if we hit a uh, triangle, it will actually add this to our library. And let's say if you want to get the first, you know, chapter to Naruto, you could just download and it basically uh, will download all your pages. And now you can either read this offline and you could toggle by hitting R and L. So this is how you could actually read, you know, manga on the go, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, and that's how you could do for each chapter. So if I actually go back into my library, you can see I have that here and it keeps a log of my history. Now, let's say you don't see a manga that you want from some website. You could actually, I believe, hit triangle to hit search and type in the manga that you want to find. So for example, y'all guys know I'm a big Kingdom Hearts fan. So I'm just going to go ahead and type Kingdom Hearts and what this application will do is basically find your anime for whatever sort so here is kingdom hearts uh the actual anime or you know manga book so that's what i'm doing here doing the same premise i'm adding this to my library and then once it's uh fully done which won't take too long and depending on how you know many pages the manga may have or just how the server is running it may take a little while but it doesn't take too long uh for this process but once it's fully done which is pretty cool. I could, you know, toggle between, uh, you know, mangas or just any other comic books that the service has to provide. And it's purely free, which is really awesome as well. So if you'd like to read on the go, and this is what I'm probably going to be using a while when I'm bored on my PlayStation Vita, when I'm out, you know, on trips and stuff like that, because uh, I find this a really good application. So right now it's fully done. Uh, you get a little notification if I go to my library you can see that Kingdom Hearts is here and let's say if I wanted to read this so right now you can see that 
um, all of the web pages are basically for the mangas here. So if I were to read this, I'm basically good to go. And yeah, this is essentially on how to get this set up on your PlayStation Vita. So if you guys did enjoy this video, and if you're a weeb like me, please be sure to you know leave a like. Please be sure to share and comment down below. But with that being said, my name is Naga Souls Avenge, and I hope you guys have a awesome day. Peace. Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in the mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace